Welcome to the Nine News Prep Rally. Good morning, everyone. College recruiting extended its dead period through the end of July, but some football stars are still raking in those offers. And Colorado has pumped out a bunch of football talent in the past, but tight end just hasn't been on that list. The class of 2021 wants to change that. Hard, hard up ahead inside the 50, hard at the 30. 20 foot race. Don't look now, but Colorado is becoming a tight end factory. Five. Touchdown. Four tight ends are among the top 10 players in the state and top 60 in the country. And get this, two of them play for the same team. I think most of us pushing each other. Like when one, one person does something good, it's kind of like pride. You want to one up them or, you know, it just pushed uh, both of us to be better. Cherokee Trail Sam Hart didn't face the duo from Heritage, but he does remember the Cherry Creek star Gunner Helm and vice versa. I remember I saw him. I was like, oh, he's he's a dog. He's a good player. And I just remember thinking like, damn, this kid's going to Ohio State. Like he, he's big time. And, and it, it really kind of helped me push myself. And he's a dog. He, he helps me compete and he helps me get after it. Why is there such a huge crop of talented tight ends in this small little pocket here? I mean, what's in the water? I don't know. I guess it's just luck. It's Colorado's time. I think that Colorado high school football was, you know, kind of overlooked up until this season, and that it really, it's really started bringing out coaches and and good talent out here to Colorado. So we're, you know, we're finally trying to get some respect we deserve. The respect is coming in form of offers. Dozens of Power Five schools lining up for the chance to have one of these four on their rosters. I've got all the offers that I've wanted. I feel like where. I'm just trying to figure out where I fit the best. There's a lot of schools on there that I really want to go to. I, I got an offer from all three of my dream schools, so I mean, they're all in my top five. And But Hart is already spoken for. He's committed to OHIO. Like their football is just top of the line. They got great academics. I got along super good with their coaching staff. And it's just a whole different atmosphere. It's unbelievable. But for now, he just wants what we all want a bit of normalcy. Right now, I'm just hoping for a regular football season. Here's to hoping. Ariel Orsuto, Nine News. A great moment at Clement Park this week as Columbine wrestling coach Ray Barron was given the 4A-5A Coach of the Year Award. Barron, who's battling cancer, coached two 5A state champions this year, Jack Forbes in the 182-pound class and Zach Schrader in the 285-pound class. Now, he's been coaching for 40 years in Colorado and said this was just sweet. Oh, it, it means a lot. There are so many great coaches in this state and uh, for me to be able to just uh, have them have them recognize me as is more than than I, I don't know what to say ray is uh probably the most special person i've ever met he's dedicated he got inducted into the national wrestling hall of fame in 2012 most people retire and he said no i'm not done yet and just kept working and going through and he loves coaching Check this out, my favorite graduation celebration here. Mullins' Aiden Kiaina Aina hits the water with his cap and gown to celebrate his graduation wake surfing there. The newest Mustang grad heading to Notre Dame in the fall to play football for the Irish. Now we want to see what you're doing at home. What kind of sports are you creating in your spare time? Hey, how are you celebrating your graduation like that? What was your biggest accomplishment this year? Hit us up at sports at 9news.com or find us on social media.